Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here to colour with you and today I'm going to be colouring up this image from Penny Black and the stamp set's called Chocolate Moment and it's a cling uh, rubber stamp so I have mounted it onto a large block and I'm stamping it out onto some white smooth cardstock with onyx black ink and not stamping the whole image because I only want I want to sort of put her um, just partially on the card front I didn't want the whole image on the card front so to remind me not to color the whole lot I did um, actually stamp her off the edge because otherwise I get carried away and I start coloring and I color way more than I need to and then I cut it off and it's a waste <laughs> I did use some onyx black ink because I am using my Prismacolor pencils today and what I'm doing here is just laying down the color I usually like to lay down a few layers of color and then come back with my Gamsol and a blending stump and then I can always add more color and that's one of the best things I think about the Prismacolor pencils is you can actually layer them up and one of the main tricks here is not to press too hard on your pencils and leave too much of the lead behind on the cardstock because you'll lose the tooth of the paper it'll be full of lead and you won't be able to add more color so as long as you're fairly um, gentle with your pencils on the cardstock you can actually keep lo layering lots of either the same color or add other colors over top which I do do later in this video here because I wasn't really happy with the color of the couch so I did come back and add another color over top and that's and then I also add my shading over top so I will list all the colors that I use over at my blog and the link to that will be in the YouTube description below so I'm going to leave you with the coloring now and I'll be back when all of that is done
All right, so now that that's all done, I did decide to include some of the fussy cutting here because I wanted to cut her right up to the very edge of the image and that can be a little bit daunting for some people. So I just thought I'd include some of it, you know, so that you could see how I would do it. I have, on any of the inside pieces of the image, I use a sharp craft knife and just gently cut away the paper until it's sort of like I did in between her elbow there. I don't like having those white spaces in there when I've cut right up to the edge everywhere else. So I do come in and always cut those out with a knife. And as long as you take your time, uh, it's actually not that hard to do. My scissors, I have some spring loaded scissors here. So I've got big thumbs. <laughs> don't tell anybody. But I've got big thumbs and I drives me insane having to grab hold of scissors so I like these spring loaded scissors they suit me fine and the good thing about them is they're good for lefties and righties I mean I'm a righty but they are good for both I um, simply just move my cardstock as I'm cutting and try and keep my scissors facing forward and I did decide to cut the feather off I did think about adding a little feather afterwards but I forgot I thought it would be really cool but I have some feathers somewhere from years ago, but I don't know I don't know where they are now, but I do have some and maybe I might add it later for fun. And I do go around the edge of the image with uh, either a grey or a black marker as well. Alright, so I have some cardstock. This is from a Cocoa Vanilla Studios and the collection is called Sugar and Spice and it's on its last legs now. I don't have much of it left and I'm not sure if the company is making it anymore because it's on special I have linked it at my site so if you're interested it's an Australian company and I've just chosen two of the cardstocks out of the collection and I'm kind of creating like a little seam like a floor and some wallpaper almost <laughs> and I'm just using my ATG to adhere those to the front of my card and this is why I had to change the color of the couch because it was too gray green. I needed it like a more of a blue green. It's really pretty blue green too. I've popped my little lady up with some, I was going to say, I was going to call it fun foam, but it's foam tape. So after I remove the release paper, I can just uh, sit her and I want her on the bottom left corner of the card to almost like, look like the couch is sitting down on the cork floor <laughs> that's a cork floor by the way and then I can just flip the card over and cut off the excess of the image and the final thing is to add a sentiment I did have a bit of trouble working out what I wanted to do here so I went to the happy snippet sets any of the snippets if I can't work out what I want for a sentiment always go to the snippet sets they are amazing and just stamp that with some onyx black and my card is finished. I did add some gems to her flowers too. I forgot to include that. All right, so till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.